Hello fellow gamers and welcome back to EU4 with Nyx. Yeah, we're doing pretty pretty great. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not doing great at all. I don't know, I am. Yeah, you are, but I'm not. I think this has been my worst start ever. Oh. Okay. You know the event where you have to choose between 100 Diplo power and 1 stability? Yep. This is the fourth time I'm getting it. Wow. This playthrough. Four times. It's on average once every episode, I think. <laughs> Bohemia is actually killing Ragusa for me and he's sieging it. That's not fair. Why are they helping you but not me? Like, are they, do they actually like you or are they defensive? Defensive. Oh, this was defensive war. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yep. That's why I, I did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay, well, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> I will choose not to be angry by it. Also... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What did you do? Uh, not too much, I think. Just a new air. Oh, what? Our air died, so we get minus stability. What? I thought that didn't happen that way. Um, and my new air is 60 again. What's up with this? Do you know how this works? Maybe it's some religion thing you have, or... Maybe the empire. Maybe an empire gets old heirs. I've never seen an empire before, so... Or maybe it's... Maybe it's dependent on the... On your current leader? Does that make sense? As in, if your leader is 80, then his heir will probably be old as well. I don't know. I mean, that's not normal, isn't it? Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, I've never seen this before. I've never had an air that is sixty, and my last air was sixty-five, which is just crazy. Well, I just gained one mech mechanicalism. Oh, nice. And this means that every time these idiots die, which they do a lot because they're so old, I'm gonna lose stability. Huh. That's annoying. I should probably read up on this at some point. <laughs> I d I've never played in this part, so I'm just looking for all the, the right name, the province names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always difficult that. I've never started really here either. I've started as Brandenburg, but I went southeast towards Poland. We know, know some stuff, of course, because, you know, we were born there, so that helps. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hurt. Just debating how much land I should take from the Ottomans right here. You're growing way too big, man. You're already the biggest world power, I think. With Serbia as a vassal, too. I'm not liking that. I'm going to have to do a catch-up race. Uh-oh. Well, here we go. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> okay, people must it? be in a coalition. No, look, no one cares. Look at that. Like, <laughs> no one cares. I, oh, I don't um, even know. Okay. Well, this is happening. Like, what? <laughs> I just don't understand why no one cares. I guess this is a different religion group, right? So this Ottomans are Sunni, so no one in Europe cares because they're Sunni. Um, which is why. So I think that, that sort of explains it a little bit. So I'm going to have problems with rebels though. Maybe. <laughs> so I think the better option would be... I should have taken deployed IDs and just go deploy vessel anyone. But I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, but they, they changed it. Yeah, but it's still very, very useful. 
Yeah, they have liberty desire though, so I have no idea how that works. It, it is liberty desire, but at the same time, I find it very easy to manage. Um, even easier than the previous vessels, actually, which is weird. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh god, I'm making bank as well. Of course you are. I'm making seven ducats at full maintenance. So, do I take Ragusa as well? Of course. No one hates oh, you yet, so... I'll give it to Serbia. Oh, yeah. Because they have a claim. So, I'm deciding... How much aggressive expansion should I really take, you think? In the Holy Roman Empire? Well, I can vassalize Pomerania. Stay below 50. I'm already above 50. What are you talking about? <laughs> well... Because you have a truce with a lot of people there, right? Yes, but it's all minus 50. Yeah, they can't join a coalition until they are no, out of the truce again. So now is your time to take stuff and yeah, but be stronger. Of course, but the the AE will still be there. So as soon as the truce ends in one year... <laughs> oh, yes, in one year, then... They'll immediately start to crush me. But I would very much like... To take some land because I can't sit still, right? Like that's just gonna crush me. But if I do this, I'll take another forty aggressive expansion. It's only thirty percent overextension. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I think it's because of your religion. It Maybe. must be. If I vassalize both of them, it'll be minus seventy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that it's a bad idea. Yeah, I, I would probably agree. Just, just so you know. <laughs> minus 72 against Holstein and the Hansa. Minus 70 against Anhalt, Brandenburg, Magdeburg, Saxony, the Palatinate. Minus 64 against Austria. Yeah, I don't want Austria to join that. That's going to be a bad, bad, bad thing. Alright, I'll take this. I'll take another 40 aggressive expansion. But Oh man, just ally me. Just for the relative power. Oh yeah, we could do that, but we just need to um, make each other improve relations with each other right now. Yeah, that's easy. I can. In a few days, I have my diplomats. Oh god, people are gonna hate me. <laughs> Even right. I got aggressive expansion from you. Oh, there is the first one in the coalition, in the new coalition. <laughs> right, I'm you can improving. always just attack them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing right now, but I don't have any. Uh, I don't have ACB against them. Where is Cleves, anyways? It's right next to you, on the left side. Where? Oh, there. Wait, I can't attack them. I don't have a CB, right? Just because... Um... No, I don't think it works that way. Oh, your first idea should have been religious. Yeah, maybe. Oh crap, yeah, now I need to start. Like, oh crap. Yeah, I have a lot of. I have 20, 18, and 19%. Um, what? Unrest? Yes. Yep, me too. Anyways, okay, let's get started. I mean, people are going to join the coalition like crazy, but hey. I'll improve relations with you. Oh shit, Denmark and Brandenburg are joined the coalition. This is not good. Oh, Bavaria, Ansbach, Liege. And that's not even the ones that were in the coalition before. These are new ones. Freshly added. Alright, well, you know. Should be able to send me the alliance off next month if you want. Okay. Yep, should be doable now. Yay! You're I'm doomed. too over my, uh, I'm too over my limit now, but that's fine. Too over your limit? Oh, because you allied yes. with quite a few people, yeah. But that's fine. Oh, call to arms. Hang on. Against the Danish, the Danish conf, uh, against Denmark. 
Oh. Okay, I might join that, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. So I'm in a war already, so that'll be fun. Yeah, because you don't want Austria to do the um, thing on you, the demand unlawful territory. That's true, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think that uh, the ones I took are actually in the um, in the HRE. No, they're not. The thing is, though, I'm now getting attacked by Denmark with a 4 free general. Oh, wait, they're just bashing into me directly. That is a dumb idea, man. You do not understand morale. <laughs> so the computer does not understand morale at all. Because I just wiped them. Oh, no, I didn't wipe them, but still. They don't have an army anymore. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's kind of good. Although Norway is now coming. Oh, they just ran into me as well. What the hell? Um... A four stack of Norway just ran into my nine stack. Ooh, okay. Oh just no. Well, oh, that sounds sounds bad, man. I'm getting a lot of rebels in an event. I mean, the religion state changes to Shinto. That's nice, but fourteen regiments, and I have only ten thousand troops myself. Well, I guess I don't have a choice, right? Let's go for it. Ouch. What happened? Uh, oh, I, I, just, I just spawned the 14,000 troops in Vorpormen. I'm winning it as well because my armies are just so crazy. Yeah, you have 4.7 morale. Like, True. what? But I don't have any manpower. That's the issue, right? So Denmark can actually win now. Uh-oh. That's not even funny anymore. Well, the morale. The morale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time, um, if we play another game, I'll definitely... What I'll do is I'll start somewhere else, not in the HRE. I don't like the HRE because I don't like the diplomatic side too much. And if you don't like the diplomatic side too much, then the HRE is not something you really want to be in. Oh, crap. Denmark is coming to beat my armies. I was not paying attention. No, I can't pause. Why can't I pause? Yeah. Well, at least I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <sighs> what happened? Nothing. My army is gone. Wiped. Oh, yes. Denmark. Norway. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because I would have completely kicked their ass except for the uh, the rebellion. Wow, hmm. so you're actually going to have another bad war. Yeah, I'm not going to lose anything to it. I think I think just Friesland is going to lose land. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much. Um, it's a hard start for you, man. It's, it's very hard. It's a, it's a religion thing because I can't ally anyone. That's the problem, you know? Like... Um, yeah, I haven't just I just haven't been able to ally anyone from the start. Yeah, it's only it? Bohemia and, and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, but very, very late. That was like the third episode or something. Um, and it's hard because it, it's, it's the same for me. Yeah, but it's not the same for you. No, because it's easier for me. Because you have big countries close to you. Yep. And like... Oh, crap, the coalition is screwed. Um... When I look at your... Okay, all my truces are over. <laughs> if I look at your... Um, your country, no one hates you, except for Hungary a little bit. And Wallachia. Now click on my... Click on my country. With the coalition map mode. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. Even France is pretty angry. I know. Never done anything against France. 
You should just go north into Sweden. And yeah, but Denmark. I can't because they're in the coalition. And before that, well, they're strong and they're allied with Poland. I can't go up against Poland. There's no way in hell. So, yeah. We're just going to have a hard start. That's all. It's like you're playing on hard mode. Oh, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Why did I get called into... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't matter. You have Austria, Hungary, Serbia, everyone in between. You know, no one's ever going to get to you. Uh, yeah, if I look at relative strength of the alliance, I don't even know how big their troops are because I can't see it. We can't see it. <laughs> but, uh... Yes. Uh. They're going to have a hard time. Just saying. Yeah. I'm gonna say that this is not even a hard time. This is this is I think game over for this playthrough. Just see how it plays out. Um yeah we'll we'll wait a few minutes. Holy crap. Yeah, this is look at that. I'm just gonna get one hundred percent. Actually what do they want? Maybe I can get out. Yeah, I can get out. I'll give away one two three provinces. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I, I, I think we have to call this because yeah. you're never, you're never going to get out of there. No, and I'm never going to lose my aggressive expansion either. So this is completely my fault, by the way. I shouldn't have played as a aggressive amp empire. In, uh... well, look, even that might have worked, right? It would have worked, absolutely would have worked if I was Catholic. Because if I was Catholic, I would have allied France and Austria. Because they were very close. I could have allied them. And if I had allied France and Austria, these little coalitions don't matter anything. Because France and Austria just crushed them, you know? That's what I did as, as Milan. But uh, yeah, this is... Look, <laughs> look at my country, man. <laughs> oh, this is just... Wow, this even Bohemia is getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> oh, isn't that awesome? I'm just waiting for them to show up at my door. No, I don't like, think they man. will. They will have to go way too far for that. But uh, yeah, okay guys, well I think this is going to be an end of this playthrough. But, uh, I think we're going to have to start a new one very soon. Because uh, this is fun, but uh, I'll start somewhere else. Let me put it that way. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might take some land in Lithuania. Next playthrough. Oh, that, that could be very fun. Yeah, I think so. Because then you're not really dealing with territory as much. And I can play the diplomatic game, I guess. But it's not as interesting to watch. Like, I like to do that offline. I don't like to do that when I'm making a video. Because it's just not as interesting. The wars are interesting. Although me getting wrecked like this is not interesting. But, uh, I mean, I could do HRE again and just be Catholic. Because that would instantly solve all my issues. Right? <laughs> yeah, and then you can actually get good allies as well. Yeah, I mean, if I had France and Austria, this never would have happened. Because, well, no one cares. No one's going to fight me, you know. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and uh, well, I guess you're definitely the winner here, because you're massive. You're insane. Yeah. You're pretty big. It's 1464. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty lucky with, uh, with the ward, though. Hey, that's interesting. You're actually lagging. If I hover over the date, I can actually see that you're one date behind me. That's weird. You're always one day behind me. Which makes sense as well. well. I guess that makes sense, but it's kind of interesting. But if I pause, you catch up immediately. Uh, hang on, what am I doing? Okay, well, let me just uh, concede to Denmark. 
first. Oh, they don't even want anything. Uh, let's concede to these people. Well, what? my country is broken. Aww. Oh, I, I just accepted a piece. I just, saw. Just for fun. I'm out. I'm out of the war. <laughs> yeah, I'm just at war with Denmark now. Okay, anyways, um, we'll be back maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. We'll see. It'll be next week for us. So um, we will probably, well, not probably, we'll definitely play again, I think. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play in Morocco. How's that? Yes, that should be a very good start as well. In Tunis, I'm maybe. Not, I'm not sure if I'm going to start here anymore next time. Why not? Because it's such a powerful start. I think it might be too easy starting there because you don't. If you break up the Ottomans, no one can fight you. No, look at how big I am, and I have no problem whatsoever. I'm making huge amounts of money. Yeah, and I don't think you can really, like, because you have the Ottomans taken care of, you are Western tech, and you can you choose your own IDs. I just don't know if there's anything anyone can do. Because, like, the Mamluks are not going to do it. Timurids are not going to do it, because before you get to the Timurids, you'll be so much more powerful than them. Maybe Poland, yep. but... Eh. <laughs> yeah, and, but I, I'm going to play Norse, I think. It's just fun. Yeah, so you have to choose your, your deities, don't you? Yep. That is kind of fun. I, I think I'll choose one of the uh, the funner um, Sunni or Muslim thingies, Islam things. Maybe something like Ibadi or something. Yeah, or uh, Shia, because the, they get a plus 10 morale as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'll definitely start with why. an empire again, yes, for sure. But I'll start with an empire in a place where it makes sense to have an empire. <laughs> uh, or or I'll just be Catholic because again I think if I had just because I, I could have allied France um, if I wasn't um, Shinto and Austria yeah. as well and if you just have France and Austria then this would have worked and that's exactly what I did when I in my Milan playthrough which was incredibly successful but that's Shinto man <laughs> anyways I think this is really it for now um, we'll see you next time in a new playthrough where we will play uh, different countries, I think. Yep, we'll see you next time.